Hey guys, what's up? This is Max, a new video finally about Sketch. Um, I hope you are also excited as much as I am because we are finally jumping back into Sketch to define and de design great apps and great user interfaces. And the first user interface right now in this new season uh, will be a messaging app. So what we will need of course at first is a new artboard and we can simply hit A to create the new artboard and we select the iPhone 7 size because this is what we are going to work with. Now we have our um, artboard right here and I'm going to open up a new iOS design to get the status bar which we have right here. I'm simply oops, copying it into my file, into my artboard and this is the status bar that we will work with. Okay, um, let's create a rectangle, which will be the top bar right there. It of course has to be uh, below the status bar and it should have a white color, a white fill. And yeah, maybe we can give it a, a slight border, but I don't want the border to show on any side. So what I'm going to do is to, to, to just make it a little bit bigger than the actual artboard so we can uh, hide the top, left and right borders, just like that. I'd say that the main background color of the artboard should be slightly gray, like that. And in this top bar, we will of course place some, um, some icons, top bar BG. What we're going to do now is to uh, grab our user interface icons. I have the material design icons and you will also find a link to download them just below this video. So simply grab your icons that you need. I want to have a back button and um, I also need a camera and a like microphone button so we can also share some photos and and like voice message. So we have a camera right here that we can use. And I also need a microphone. Not sure if this use uh, of this icon set is featuring a microphone. Oh yeah, it is featuring a microphone. It's nice. There we have it. Cool. I didn't expect that. So there we have the three icons that we will need for today's uh, UI. We will start with the like back button, back icon, which is this arrow shape. Um, and we of course will be placing it at the top right there. Of course it has to be slightly bigger about that, like about that and there we have it. Boom. That's it. Of course, we can change the color and make it a little bit less visible. Just like that. In the middle of the top bar, I would like to display a name. And when the message was like sent or something like that, and I'm going to choose Helvetica. Okay, Helvetica Neue. That's it. Simply select it. The name will be bold or probably like medium and will be will have the same color as our arrow maybe a little bit darker to put more emphasis on it and the message is by Mike Richards that's the name that we will work with center it up and there we have it I'm going to make a copy of the name because I want to say as I already said that this message has uh, like last seen 15 minutes ago, something like that, whatever. The second line will be just to describe something and it can like describes whatever you want about like about that. And on the right side, I would like to have an edit function. So I'm copying just this Mike Richards, uh, name again and here we have our easy edit function. I'm going to change 
it to I'm going to change it to regular like that. So it's not like popping out that much. And this is basically the, the top bar. Um, of course, we could do some pixel perfect alignment here. But for this tutorial, I'm w I won't do that right now. Um, but of course, you can simply go over to view sh uh, canvas show rulers. And then you can simply like create your lines to make spacings and so on. So you can definitely do that, of course. Um, now, I would also like to just use this background right here for the bottom bar. So this is the top bar. And I'm also going to use this for the bottom like that. The bottom will be used, of course, to enter a certain message. So you can simply say type your message just like that because it will guide the user to show him that he can use this field to write down the message. And now we need the icons that we already copied into the file. By the way, my, my voice is really like rough right now because I'm a little bit sick. Um, yeah, but never mind. Just wanted to tell this to you because I may sound a little weird, but I'd want to get this tutorial down uh, because I was really like so pumped to do another, a new sketch tutorial as actually. Um, this is by the way also filmed with my new camera, the Sony A730 uh, or whatever it's called, 6000. Uh, 6300 like that and this is basically the bottom bar we will use this to edit uh, to, to post a message to uh, post a photo or a, vo a voice message just like that super easy as we do it okay so let me group this up as it's the bottom bar and between these two folders, we are going to have a, another folder, which is the main content. Um, I'm going to create a new rounded rectangle because we are going to use rounded rectangles for the messages. And we simply choose a color that we like. Could be like a green, could be also red. Maybe choose something that you just like to use, that you use in your overall uh, UI or whatever. Just like that. This will be the field in which we will post our message. And the cool thing that I will show you right now is that we don't have to actually create a message, but using this fixed width, we can simply say it should be this wide. And um, once we've done that, we can simply go over to our Graft plugin. It's a cool uh, plugin for Sketch, and it's also linked down below, so you can really get it. Um, we need some type. Use this icon for that. And I'm going to post to use a new article um, about traveling, for example. So maybe... You just posted this huge paragraph right here. Um, of course, it's showing a lot more text than we actually need. So we can uh, just get rid of that. Uh, it's showing so much text. What you also could do instead of deleting all of that is to simply say that this should be a mask. Um, then, of course, ignore the underlying mask. And now it's simply just showing the text that we have within our rectangle. I see that I need to change the color to make it more readable because UX is way more important than the actual design. So make it more readable, even though maybe you can choose the color that you want, but it's more important to make it readable. So that's the, like the first message. Um, and I would also like to have a small note down here when the message was like posted. So this was at 1030. 
Give it a grayish color, smaller font size like that. And that's it. So that's basically the first message. What we're going to do now is to just copy it and draw it below, drag it below right here to this place. Um, and I definitely want to make it smaller right now. So we get some kind of messaging effect without having like messages all over. So I would simply say, yeah, that's awesome or whatever. Whatever you want to use, um, just use some dummy text basically. And that's it. I can go back to auto and we can even make this a little bit smaller, just like that. Maybe it's just a one line message. Um, and you can simply change the time again, just like that. Of course, the color should be different. So we could make it um, gray. We could also uh, use just a different color, like a red or something like that. Maybe like that. That looks actually kind of cool. Um, and I think we, in our sketch file right here, we also have the keyboard and we can simulate some kind of keyboard right now. Um, simply right click your messaging artboard to duplicate it. And I'm simply now pasting in the keyboard. I'm uh, using this key, this button right here to post it to, to like uh, pin it to the bottom. And I'm going to drag the bottom bar up. So we see our content right here. Um, of course we need to group the content up and call it uh, content. Drag it below the bottom bar. Add a, sorry, drag it below the top bar, just like that. And simply do the same with this one. Drag it below the top bar because right now as we scroll like down a little bit or up, we want this the, the content to be just below the top bar. What we could do right here is to define a blur, like a background blur. And we need to change the opacity a little bit for that, just like that. You can increase the amount of the background blur. I think uh, iOS is probably around something like this. Um, and we can simply use it to uh, show that this is the, the content that is just below the top bar and you want to give the user some context. And yeah, I think that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you really like that these sketch tutorials are now back on the channel because I'm super happy about that. And yeah, I just want to thank you for your time. I hope we see us together back in the next video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, just hit the thumb up button and you can of course download this file by using the link down in the video description. So thanks guys for your time and we we'll see us in the next one. This video was sponsored by Dev Mountain. If any of you are interested in learning UX design, Dev Mountain is a 12 week design bootcamp intended to get you a full time job in the industry. You can learn more about this at devmountain.com or by clicking the link in the video description. Thanks for watching the video and we we'll see us in the next one. Bye.